In today's Health Watch, Canine Colleagues, a new study finds that bringing our dogs to work can make us feel better all day long. I think that's true. So when Chip Reed heard that, he decided, i got to give this a try. Chip, hello. Well, hello. I'll tell you, Gail and Charlie, this uh, is no fly-by-night study. It was published in the International Journal of Workplace Health Management. It is the first quantitative study to look at the effect of bringing your dog to work on stress and productivity. Every morning in every part of the country, they're out there, people walking their dogs and taking them to the park before they go to work. For a dog owner and for a dog, it's one of the most unpleasant moments of the day. Buster, I've got to go to work. That sad-eyed look is what I get every morning, but today I've got a surprise. Buster, you want to get in the car? Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Good boy. This is work. Buster loved his visit to the CBS News Washington Bureau. The view from a doggy cam showed how excited he was to meet everyone, even my boss. But taking dogs to the office can also benefit workers, according to a new study by Virginia Commonwealth University. The individuals who brought their dogs to work, their stress was lower at the beginning of the day, stayed that way the entire day. But for dog owners who did not bring their dogs to work, stress increased steadily and nearly doubled by the end of the workday. White House advisors say President Obama's dog, Bo, reduces stress in the West Wing. And on Capitol Hill, California Republican Congressman Ken Calvert says that despite all the partisanship, Callie is the great unifier. Callie's happy every day, loves everybody, loves the people who come in. We think that uh, having a, a dog in the office uh, makes everybody happier and uh, they do their job better. And Kelly keeps a good eye on things. Professor Barker and the Humane Society say there's strong anecdotal evidence dogs are becoming increasingly prevalent in smaller offices, like that of Washington, D.C. doctor Bruce Rashbaum. This thing can be so serious all of the time. When you turn around and see a smiley dog, it just makes it a little less heavy, it takes the edge off. And not everyone is a dog lover, so having your best friend at the office can cause some issues. People did find sometimes the dog were, dogs were disruptive. They were noisy. Uh, people did find that sometimes the dogs were not as clean as they perhaps would like them. But if you're thinking how nice it would be to take your dog to work, Professor Barker's study just might give you some ammunition with the boss. 50% of those people that brought their dogs to work felt that their dogs increased their productivity. That gets business's attention when you say that, right? Right in here. And Charlie and Gail and Eric, okay. uh, this is only a preliminary study. However, Buster tells me he's yeah. confident the results will be about the same uh, when it is a final report. Buster <laughs> is really cute, Chip. Oh, great oh, dog, Chip. A big great head. Dog. We have another good-looking dog here, yeah. right, Charlie? Indeed. Oh, I understand this that. is Barkley. Say hello to the camera. Can you see the camera? Huh? Where are you going? <laughs> Barkley's going to see Patty because he knows she's Patty. a dog lover. Charlie, yeah. what's the best thing about Barkley to you? What does he do? Because really, your whole demeanor, your whole uh, face lights up talking about he's, him. His curiosity. I mean, he walks around like this all the time. You know? <laughs> and then if he gets ahead of me, he looks back to see whether to see where I'm you following are. him. How old, hey, is, come how old is he? How old is he? He's three. Come here. Where are you going, Barkley? Barkley. <laughs> Say hello to Sam. Barkley's Say hello making to Paul. the rounds. So Barkley Come. was a huge hit, I have to say, from the time he got here this morning. <laughs> yeah. Everybody yeah. was coming into Charlie's office, yeah. not to say hi to Charlie. They don't care. But made to say hi late. to Barkley, yeah, right. he made we, you a little bit late. And I was very careful that I wanted to make sure that we walked half the way here on the way over, so nothing would happen so once he got here. Get hi, That's Barkley. Right. Come here, Barkley. <laughs> Wait, but, you, hey, come on. but Charlie, you know how Say to pick up Erica. the poop. You do that too. <laughs> Say hello to Paul. You know how to pick up the poop. You know. There's nothing like a dog. It's true. All right, that's your moment of glory, Barkley. Say hello and bye. Charlie's making his, uh, not Charlie, Barkley's making his debut. <laughs>